What's up, Sports Fury Nation? It's that time of the year yes, again. Sir. The NFL draft is yeah. right around the corner. But you know what? What? My Chicago Bears. Uh. The Bears. We don't draft until the third round. We got to wait all the way to day two. Damn. You know, we have to wait till day two, my Cowboys. But we at least have a second round pick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But hey, good news. What? We don't, we won't fuck it up. Our teams, we can't fuck up first round. Oh, that's a good way of looking yeah. at it, I guess. That's true. Trying to get a positive way. Not that we would fuck it up anyway. Yeah. You know? So, <laughs> yeah, the Oakland Raiders, they took our draft picks in the first yeah. round this year. Let's see what they so can they do. So they got with them. three of them here. But we got one question for you guys one. watching right Just now. One. Do you think you got what it takes to beat us and predict the pick? No. No way. Hell no. No way. But if you think you do. If you do, come join us on NFL.com on Predict the Pick. Yeah. You can compete against us. You pick 1 through 32, all the players. So you got to go ho- Get to go to NFL.com. And just search it. Search our group name, which is Sports Fury Mock. All one word. Sports Fury Mock. One word. One word. Go search it. Join it. It's completely public. No password required. Mm-hmm. You pick 1 through 32. Now, how it works is if you get that pick right, you get points. Even if that player is picked, but there's like a team that traded up, you still get points for it. Or if like a player you picked to go on fifth gets picked fourth or sixth, you still get points. It's weird. Yeah. But it's pretty much it's point system based. Whoever is a top score though and wins the whole thing gets an NFL jersey. Of oh. their choice from us. Well, it's got to be me that wins the whole damn thing, and you got to buy me a jersey no. because I don't got a damn Bears jersey well, right true. now. Well, you better put it in your fucking word. You better make sure your mock draft's right. Yeah. But if you think you got what it takes to go against us in this mock yeah. on Predict the Pick, go head over there right now. Yeah. Sports Fury Mock, one word on NFL.com. Yeah. And then join us live for the NFL Draft. We will be live throughout the entire first round. Yes. Day two. Hopefully, maybe, Hopefully. If, if I can get it off. Hopefully. But uh, come join us, and then uh, we're going to have a great time. It's, oh, it's lot, always a great time. A lot time. of drinking, a lot of screaming, a lot of excitement. Yeah. But, Sean, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm, ex- I'm, I'm curious to see what you got in your first round mock. It's going to get interesting. Nice. But you know what? At the end of the day, this whole first round mock is going to be real dependent on this first pick that could fuck up everything. Yep. So let's get there. <laughs> on the clock, the Arizona Cardinals are picking first. Yes. Some of their needs are offensive line, wide receiver, tight end, defensive line, corner. Mm-hmm. Sean, you said just the right thing. Yeah. It all depends on this number one overall pick. There's a lot of people saying that this is going to be Kyler Murray. Yeah. This is what I have. I got Kyler Murray going number one to the Arizona Cardinals and that they will eventually trade Josh Rosen to maybe a New England Patriots. Uh, Let's say. Possibly Chargers. Chargers. The Uh, Dolphins. Who knows? You never know. I am going Kyler Murray myself also. There's way too much. They would not be putting this much work in a uh, meeting with this kid taking him out for dinner and all that this is too much i think they are going kyler murray yeah now like they brought in this new head coach Mm -hmm. from uh texas tech yeah cliff Cliff kingsbury kingsbury he loves kyler murray here and he's better suited for this offense than josh rosen because josh rosen's much you know he stays in the pocket whereas kyler murray he is a good pocket passer but he is very mobile he's athletic he can make moves with his legs so the fact that the Arizona Cardinals don't have that good of an offensive line. Could help. Kyler Murray, he can make plays on his own, with his yeah. own feet, if he needs to. Yeah. Kind of crazy that you're going to see a team literally draft quarterbacks back-to-back first rounds. That's going to be one of the first times in a, uh, that I can yeah, think it's, of. It's crazy. So, it's you know, it's going to happen. They're probably going to trade Josh Rosen, but me and Josh, we're both agreeing here. Yep. All right, moving on. All right, on the clock at number two is the San Francisco 49ers. Yes. The 49er Empire. They, mm. they could use a wide receiver, a safety, a corner, D-line, line. offensive line. We'll yeah. see what's going on here. Yeah. But for me, I'm going Nick Bosa. Bosa? No brainer. Pick him up right here. Wait, you said Bosa. Yeah. Me too. All right. I just, okay, I was going to say, like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> Bosa's, I think everybody's essential here. Everybody's in greens. If Kyler Murray goes one, Bosa's going two to 49ers. Mm-hmm. It just, this just makes sense. You know, they can move to Forrest Buckner inside and put Bosa on the outside that I think that'll be great. Oh, dude, the front seven of um, the San Francisco 49ers is going to be pretty goddamn sick, man. I'm excited to see what the 49ers can do if everybody can just stay healthy. They're going to get to the quarterback so damn. It's going to be sick, man. They need it. They need that. 
All right, so that's the San Francisco 49ers drafting Nick Bosa. We're in agreement yeah, so far. So far, yeah. Now on the clock with new jerseys. <laughs> Badass pretty jerseys. Yeah, pretty looking yeah, good jerseys, too. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I like the all they black. They got the black. The all know. black, baby. Blackout, baby. But the New York Jets are on the clock here yeah. at number three. Who do you have them going? Oh, I at this point, I have them going Quinn and Williams. He's, he's honestly, Williams. I think he's one of the best players in this draft. Some he's people say me. he is the I, best prospect out of this draft. I wouldn't even mind him going to the 49ers at number two, but I think he just 49ers just need that edge rusher. Quinton Williams up the middle for Jets makes 100% sense. you got to go with him. I am also going Quinton Williams out of Alabama, going to the New York Jets like here as well. I, I think that's lot. just a solid move right there. Yeah. You, you, you can't miss right here. No, not, not at all. Best available player, beast, Plug and play. There Do you go. Do it, baby. Do it, Jets. All right. Hopefully, Jets like that pick. Yeah, hopefully. Well, let's see. Uh -huh. On the clock <laughs> is the Oakland Raiders hey. at number four. You realize that might be the last time we can call them Oakland Raiders. Yeah, probably. Shit. So, the Oakland Raiders, Sean, <laughs> what do you see them doing? Oh, you got... First off, they got three first-round picks here. Yep. And they had... What was their biggest concern this whole offseason was their defense. Defense. So, who do they go with? Josh Allen. You're going Josh Allen? I'm going Josh Allen. This guy, I feel like he Out still has a little bit of work to do. He's, he's not fluid in the hips, but this guy's got power and speed. But I think this is going to be a good, good play, pick for them. I'm going Josh Allen as well, and I would We're not. four for four. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think that I would say the top four picks are pretty damn solid. solid I mean, yeah. yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. But Josh Allen going here at number four to the Oakland Raiders makes a whole ton of sense. And... Mm -hmm. If they don't go Josh Allen, another scenario I could see is uh, trading out of this pick, the Oakland Raiders. There's been rumors they might. You know, you could see the Giants possibly moving up if they want to grab a quarterback. Yeah. You could see the Bengals possibly moving up. Mm -hmm. Maybe the maybe the Broncos if they you yeah. know if they want Haskins or something. Yeah. They might move up to number four. And what if Kyler Murray is not taking number one overall? Yeah. They're talking about the Giants might try to trade up for Kyler Murray if he's not taking first overall. Yeah. So this would be a good spot. So I could see that. I could definitely see the Bengals trading up to this spot. Ooh, Bengals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they got. They, if they want to get yeah, their quarterback, they could. They if could. they if they have what they feel is their quarterback in this draft, yeah. Haskins or or even Murray, if he doesn't go at number one, yeah, he, yeah. I could see them going here at four. Not a bad option. But Oakland Raiders, right now, we are going Josh wow, I can't we're, Allen. I believe we agreed. Yep. Four for four. At number five on the clock is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bucks. Sean, who you got the Bucks getting? So this one was a little tough for me because they got a lot of these. They have linebacker, corner, safety, running back, D-line. But you know what? I went with Devin White. Devin White? Reason is that's their top knee linebacker. They just lost Quan Alexander. Why not go out and get Devin White? This guy reminds me a lot of Quan Alexander. Fast, very athletic, a great tackler. Mm -hmm. Go Devin White. He he blew everybody's mind there in the combine. I like this kid. Go with him at number five. Yeah, I, I'm not hating that at all whatsoever. They they linebacker is definitely a need for them. You know what else is a need? What corner? Yeah, oh, yeah. all That's kinds true. of fucking uh, uh, secondary help they need. That's true. They were atrocious last year. That's true. Do you remember that Bears Bucks game where Trubisky yeah. threw like six touchdowns? That was embarrassing. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that was embarrassing. The Bucks secondary yeah. is just so bad. So that's why here at number five, I actually got them going corner cornerback Greedy Williams ah. out of LSU. So you have another LSU boy. Okay. Yes, okay. I'm going Greedy Williams right here for the Tampa Bay Bucks. I, I, Todd Bowles, he's a defensive coordinator there now. Yes. I think that was a great move. Uh, the, the coaching moves for the Tampa Bay Bucks were great. Yeah. Getting Bruce Arians and then getting Todd Bowles coming over. I, that's going to change the whole team. So I'm going, I'm going corner right here, and I'm going Greedy okay. Williams. I can't argue that. I can't argue that. I like that. I like it. All right, Sean, let's talk about your second favorite team in the NFL. Oh, fuck. On the clock is the New York football Giants drafting here at six. Yes. Assuming they don't trade up, mm -hmm. who are you going with here? Oh, can I have them taking a kicker? Uh, what's the next? That's the best kicker in this draft. Uh, no, the Giants, you know, the Giants have a lot of needs. I thought they nailed their draft picks last year. And they could go a lot of options here. Like, like you have, you see all the needs listed there. Cornerback, D-line, corner, uh, quarterback, D-line, cornerback, receiver, O-line. Um, receiver is obviously one that's popping out. They just traded Odell Beckham, mm -hmm. but it's way too early to take receiver here. I know a lot of people think they might be going quarterback. Even I was preaching quarterback. But you know what? All those rumors with David Gettleman saying, we, we might stick with Eli for another year or so. They might extend him. Yep. 
You know what? I don't think they're lying. So you know what? If that's true, go Greedy Williams out of LSU. You had him going five. Go him here at six. They could get use a corner. Yeah, they could use a corner right here. They traded Eli Apple away because he yep. wasn't working out. Go yep. after Greedy Williams. This guy, everybody raves about him. Get him, and I think he fills a huge need. All right, so for me, I'm going to go quarterback, Dwayne Haskins. You're because, going to Haskins? Yes, because, okay. yes, Eli Manning is going to be the guy next year, mm -hmm. maybe beyond that for the next season. Yeah. So, yeah, why not go get uh, Dwayne Haskins? He's your quarterback of the future. Okay. He sits like behind it. Eli Manning for a season. That boded well for Patrick Mahomes. You saw what he did. That's true. Uh, so I, I'm going to go Dwayne Haskins right here for the New York Giants. I, you know, I want, I kind of wanted them to go defense here, right? And then just wait on a quarterback later. Yeah. Like maybe, uh, maybe at 17, maybe you go Drew Locke or something like that. If he's That's available, true. maybe you trade up there, uh, move up a few spots from 17. Yeah. But, or you can just wait another year or two, but you know, you never know what you're going to get next year. You don't know where your situation is next year. Yeah. You know, I mean, they could fuck up and go eight and eight. Or, you know, win nine games. Win nine games. You're not going to get one of those elite quarterbacks in the draft next year. So why not get him right now here at number six going Dwayne Haskins. He sits behind Eli for one year. That's true. I See, I can't hate that because I would love uh, Dwayne ha I like Dwayne Haskins, and I think he'd be a good fit in New York. And I hate to say that as a Cowboy fan, but I, I, I can't argue that. I like it. Okay. On the clock at number seven is the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're looking to make a comeback this year. They yes. got, they picked up Nick Foles. Uh, we'll see if Leonard Fournette can you know stay healthy and, and stay keep his out, head on right. Stay out of trouble, man. Yeah. Fuck. So some of the needs here: offensive line, tight end, wide receiver, safety, running back. Sean, do you got DK Metcalf going to the Jacksonville Jaguars? Oh. A lot of people have been saying that. A lot of people have been saying that, but you know what? I do not have DK Metcalf going here. I don't. What do you got? I think, who did you just say they went and picked up? Uh, they picked up Nick Foles. So, you know what? You got Nick Foles. Protect him. You, oh, they definitely need some protection. Go. That's like their number one read, probably. Didn't they get a, a tackle last year and it just didn't work out? Yeah. So, you know what? Go and get Jawan Taylor. I'm in complete agreement. That's exactly what I have. Jawan Taylor. That's that's our no-brainer. Yeah. That's no-brainer. Yeah. Best offensive lineman right here. You Do take it. him up and you don't even think about it. Don't think twice. Do it. Jags just he's from, he's from Florida, so he, you oh, know. Might as well. He's a Florida boy, you know. Yeah, might as well. Hell yeah. Oh. So that that's an easy one right there. Yeah, yeah. Juwan Taylor going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes. On the clock at number eight is this uh, this team, the Detroit oh, Lions. This is your second favorite team. Yeah, you know, the little pussy cats right here. No, actually, <laughs> the Detroit Lions, I thought they had a pretty solid offseason yes, right they here. they did. They made some great moves. Now they're drafting here at number eight. Yeah. And you know what, Sean? For the Detroit Lions, I think um, they, they could use an edge. Yes. Right. Then they lose and, in Giansa. Yeah. So I'm going Montez Sweat right here. Okay. For the Lions, and I think that would be a great pick for Matt Patricia and the Detroit Lions. I, yeah, you know, I, I would love for them to mess this up. Yeah. But Montez Sweat to the Lions, I think that'd be a great pickup. You know what? The funny thing is, Josh, I have the same thing. Oh, you're going Montez I'm Sweat. I'm going Montez Sweat with the Detroit Lions. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, this dude, is he's, he's there for the pickup. Yeah. They need an edge rusher. And a lot of people are raving about this kid, so yeah. why not? Go get him. Let's make it happen. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. Montez Sweat, it looks like Ooh. you're coming to the NFC North, according oh, to me, you know? yeah, me yeah, and Sean. Yeah. On the clock at number nine is the yeah. Buffalo Bills. Bills? Bills Mafia. Bills. Where are you at? Yeah. Sean, who you got them going? Oh, I got the Bills Mafia. You know... <coughs> Oh, you, okay. My voice is fucked up. When you I need some beer? Uh, not yours. I don't. I know what you put in your beer. Now my honestly, Bills. Mafia, <laughs> now everybody's curious. Bills Mafia. I have them going. Jeffrey Simmons. Jeffrey D Simmons tackle. Ooh, he's going early for you. I have him going a little early, but they need a defensive lineman. I'm looking at it like they went out and addressed. They got some receivers for uh for Josh Allen. Great. Got him some weapons. So I like this. Go Jeffrey Simmons here. Fix up that D line. You got to get pressure up the middle against Tom Brady. That's what you need to do. And the running game for Patriots have been pretty good the last couple of years. So get a good D tackle to fill that void in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So the Bills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they picked up a couple of wide receivers, including your uh, former Dallas Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley. Yeah. Uh, I like him. You know, the slot receiver. He's, yeah. he's pretty damn good. Yeah. I say get more offensive weapons. More? For Josh Allen. Yes. Well, I can't hate that. Yeah. Yes. So here at number nine, I'm going TJ Hawkinson. 
wow. to the Buffalo okay. Bills. This is a tight end from Iowa who just looks beastly. This guy can block. He can run amazing routes. He can do it all. He's a tough dude. What's not to love about TJ Hawkinson? True. And he'd be a great weapon for Josh Allen. Uh, Josh Allen would love that. I wouldn't. I can't hate that. They ignore weapons for a young quarterback. It never hurts. So I like that pick. Okay, Buffalo Bills, what do you guys think? Let us know. On the clock is the Denver Broncos drafting here at number 10. Do they go quarterback? Uh What do they do? If TJ Hawkinson, if he was available still on my draft board, I would probably go TJ Hawkinson right here. But what do you got? TJ Hawkinson. You got <laughs> you do yeah I do it, 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 well it makes sense I yeah. mean they got some good receivers over there yeah. for Joe Flacco yes they do and what does he love he loves tight ends baby he loves them he loved them in Baltimore bring T J Hawkinson here that's I I think they love it you got a good a good running game going get a good tight end like Hawkinson I think that would be a great fit and you still have Emmanuel Sanders um I think I think that would work man I wouldn't I know they need uh, have other needs but I think Hawkinson fits that perfectly. Okay. If, yeah. If he's he not would, gone for uh, to Buffalo, I think this would be a perfect fit. Yeah, he would be a good fit. Yeah. All right, for the Denver Broncos, for me, I'm going Devin White out of LSU. Hey, you, okay, I have him going out of five. You got him going all the way uh, to ten. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Vic Fangio, he's the head coach over there. That's true. They want to make that defense formidable once again. Yeah. I mean, bringing them back to that 2015 type defense. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. Why not just go ahead and pick up yeah. a Devin White? Okay, okay, okay. I'll see you. I'll see you. But that's what we got. Yeah. You let us know what you think, Denver Broncos fans. Mm. Drafting here mm. at 11 on the clock is the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, my God. No matter what we do here, we're going to get a lot of hate comments in the, uh, below for this one. Yeah. Well, I mean, they could use a. They could definitely use a linebacker. <gasps> Offensive, Offensive line. line, yes. D-line, tight end. Oh, what about a court? Yeah, quarterback. Oh, yeah, with Andy Dalton. You know, he's Sean, not the savior. You got Kyler Murray. Mm-hmm. You don't have high skids off your board, do no, you? I do not. Do they? Dude. Sean, do they go quarterback? What do you think? I have Dwayne Haskins going to the Bengals here. No way. I do have Dwayne Haskins falling to the Bengals. If he's not picked up by the Giants, which I, I, I could see that happening. I see him falling to the Bengals here and the Bengals getting him. Now, I know Andy Dalton, they will be okay with him maybe another year. He's mediocre. It's fine. They could survive. But if that Dwayne Haskins falls to him, they have to take him. This guy is too good. He's got too much of a talent. He's from Ohio. He went to Ohio State. Why not keep him in the area? That would be perfect. Okay. Now, uh, and then do, does he sit behind Andy Dalton for a year? I say let him compete. It never hurts to have competition. If he has a sit out a year, that's fine. Develop him a little bit. But if he could beat out Andy Dalton, what's the harm in that? Okay. Uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals here on my draft board, I have them going Devin Bush out of Michigan. They do need a linebacker. They, yeah, huge need right here. And Devin Bush is available. Yeah. Get him. Yeah. Right here. If he's available, you gotta, uh, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. All right. On the clock, drafting at number 12 is the Cheesehead Green Bay Packers. Oh, this is your favorite team. Detroit's your second favorite. This is your favorite. What do you, what do you got? With them? With the Green Bay Packers? Yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to blow some people's minds here. Who? I got DK Metcalf. <laughs> now, hear me out. Hear me out. Green Bay Packers haven't drafted a first r- offensive talent in the first round in like so many years. Now, this is skill position. Sorry, skill position. I think this is where they do it. I know DK Metcalf is not the most polished receiver. He's not. He's not the best route runner. He's more of a take the top off the defense. But that's what they need. They already have uh, Devontae Adams over there. Get DK Metcalf, a guy that can take the top off, a deep threat like Jordy Nelson was. Get a quarterback who throw him the ball, throw him open. I think that's a perfect fit. Get DK Metcalf here and address that need. Done. All right. I have them going offense as well. Okay, okay. But I got them going tight end. But, but they got Jimmy Graham. No, fuck Jimmy Graham. They're going <laughs> Noah Font. Right okay. here, the tight end from Iowa. Okay. Noah Font. Noah Font. Fant. 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 Font. 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 Fanta. Font. Don't That's, you wanna something. wanna Fanta? I hate those commercials. Yeah, I have them going tight okay. end right here. I, think I can see that. This is, this is a great tight end. Yeah. I got two tight ends going in the top 12. Oh, wow. You really do. Two. They're that good. Shit. Hawkinson and Font are that damn good. 
And I think that'd be a solid pickup. And they also yeah. will be drafting later on in this first round as well. Yes, they will. But uh, I, I, but I, I actually hope they draft a kicker. Though. <laughs> I don't blame you. On the clock at number 13 is the Miami Dolphins. Yes. In rebuild mode. Yeah. Right? Yep, pretty much. What do you got? Rebuild, like, a lot of people might think that they could try to trade up for a quarterback, or they might be waiting another year or two for a quarterback. So, with this one, I'm just looking at it. Do they address their offense? Do they really want to put a receiver there? For what? They don't really have a quarterback. How about address the other side of the ball, the D-line? That's what I got them going. Ed Oliver out of Houston. Ed Oliver. Ed Oliver is a big name everybody's been talking about. If he falls you at 13, you got to take him uh, right here in Miami. Just address that need. That's your second most need besides a quarterback. I think it just fits because I don't think there's a quarterback here that they want to take this early. Mm. And there are other quarterbacks like Drew Locke and all these other guys, there's too much question marks around them, right? They're still not like a for sure lock, right? Like yeah. Drew Locke, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> Leave so, the punts. Anyways, I'm sorry. I had to. But I got uh, an offer. <laughs> all right, so for the, Mi- up that opportunity. <laughs> for the Miami Dolphins, uh, well, yes, they are in rebuild mode. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're even touching a quarterback until at yep. least another year or two. In that meantime, I think they need to address their offensive line. So, mm, okay. for the Miami Dolphins, I have them going Jonah Williams ah, out of Alabama. Okay. You put, you guys got to build that offensive line so that way when you do get your quarterback you, on a rookie contract, you have himself a nice line That's who can bad. protect him and, yeah. you know, yeah. you'll keep him safe. Yeah. So, I'm going oh. Jonah Williams to the <laughs> Miami Dolphins at like number it. 13. I like it. Build okay. those trenches. Yeah. Go O-line, or like Sean says, you go, go D-line. D-line. Yeah. All right, on the clock at number 14 is the Atlanta Falcons. Yeah. Atlanta Falcons, man, they are definitely looking yeah. to bounce back, and I don't see why not. I mean, they got the talent, man. They just got to stay healthy. They, and they need, a, they need a little bit of depth here. Yeah, they do. So, Sean, who do you have the Falcons drafting at 14? With this going at 14, I have him going with Sean Gary out of Michigan. Okay. This guy, I think he's a great player. Uh, yeah, there he is. He's a freakish athlete. He's got height, speed, and weight. This guy is a monster. Uh, you know, the who they draft a couple years with, the D lineman, he hasn't really panned out just yet. I think getting another D lineman, maybe spark a little competition, would be great. And this guy's already got the size. Get him. I think he's NFL ready. He's got the perfect fit for the NFL D line. For the Atlanta Falcons, I am going D-line as well. I'm okay. going Ed Oliver from Houston, okay. and this is a steal. Yeah. Ed Oliver at 14 to the Atlanta Falcons. He's a plug-and-play player. Yeah. Beast. I had him going like right before that, so I'm right there with you, Josh. Okay. On the clock at number 15, the yes. Washington Redskins, Sean's other second favorite team in the NFL. Sean, the Washington Redskins, I have them going with Sean Gary D oh. line out of Michigan. So oh, you okay. had just before. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Rashawn Gary. Yeah. I yeah, they do need D lineman, right? I wouldn't mind that. They they always go D lineman almost every year now, right? But you know what? I think right here the Washington Redskins are kind of in a panic with the Alex Smith injury. So even though just a couple picks ago I was saying there's not a lot of quarterbacks here that, that the Miami Dolphins might not want to take, right? But I think the Redskins feel like they might be right there. They might be on the cusp because they, they were actually doing pretty good last year, mm-hmm. right? Uh, they beat my Cowboys and then going into the bye week and then Alex Smith got hurt and then all of a sudden they went downhill. They could have won the division. So why not go to quarterback here? Okay. I think that's what's going to happen. They don't get Kyler Murray. They can't. Um, maybe they don't get Josh Rosen in that trade. They get Drew Locke here at 15. Hmm. I think that's what's going to happen. I think they kind of need to. They need to get a quarterback, and especially a rookie quarterback on a rookie contract because Alex Smith is eating up cap. Okay. So you got a guy for five years. Do it. All right. On the clock at number 16, we got the Carolina Panthers. Some yes. of their needs are edge, O-line, safety, wide receiver, linebacker. Yes. Who do you got them going? Oh, I actually have them. Well, obviously we know Cam Newton might not play this this year mm-hmm. because of the, the, the injury to his shoulder. So you know what? Get him. His biggest problem is getting hit. So get him help on the offensive line. I had him going Jonah Williams, who you had going a few picks earlier to the uh, Miami Dolphins. Get him a offensive line. So when he does come back, he's going to have protection. I am in complete agreement with you. Yes. Go O line right here for the Panthers. Except I got Andre Dillard from mm-hmm. Washington State. 
Jordan Williams already off my board, uh, so I'm yeah. going Andre Dillard here to the Panthers. Okay, gotcha. All right, on the clock for the New York Football Giants. This is their yes. second pick in the first round. They got from the 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 Browns. Yep. Mm-hmm. Who you got? This one, I, this is where I feel like they address their need that they just lost. Who they just traded and mm-hmm. got this pick for was Odell Beckham. Okay. So why don't you turn this pick into a receiver and get one of the top receivers in the draft, Marquise Brown. This kid is a playmaker out of Oklahoma. I'm a Texas fan. I saw him all the time. This guy tore us up. He is the cousin of Antonio Brown, by the way. So why not you get He's got a good pedigree. Family heritage. Family line. Family get line? Him. Get him. Okay. All right, so for me, the New York Giants, in my draft earlier mm-hmm. with their first pick at number six, yes. they drafted a quarterback. Yes. They addressed the offense. Now here at 17, they address the defense, and I'm going Brian Murphy out of Washington, ah, cornerback. Okay. They're gonna, they, need, they definitely need uh, and could use a corner, so I'm going Brian Murphy with the number 17 pick. All right, on the clock now is mm. the purple people eater yes. fuckers. The Minnesota Vikings, yes. they are looking to bounce back this year. Yeah. We thought they were going to win the division last year. Yeah. Uh-uh. My Bears Chicago won. Bears said, fuck that. Yeah, everybody gets lucky, you know. But you know what, man? I think they will have a bounce back season. Yes, they will. I think it's going to be a tough race here in the NFC North. Mm-hmm. Minnesota Vikings drafting here at 18. I have them going Cody Ford. I think they need to address their offensive yes. line from Oklahoma. Cody Ford going to the Vikings right here. I, I agree with you. Now, not with Cody Ford. I have him going O-line, and that's with Andre Dillard. So you had going a couple picks prior. Yeah. I agree. they got to protect Kirk Cousins. He was getting hit left and right. Mm. You just paid him all that money. Mm-hmm. Get him an offensive line that can protect him. Please. Yep. All right. Going off offensive line. Yeah. On the clock at number 19 is the Tennessee Titans. Titan up! Yeah! I got them going DK Metcalf right here at 19. Huge weapon for Marcus Mariota. That is huge. That is huge. Now with me, though, I'm going with them getting a steal here. This is a guy you had going, uh, what pick was it? You had him going at 11. I have Devin Bush. Devin Bush falling to 19? Devin Bush falling to him. Now, I know it's not one of the That would be a steal. But this guy falling to them at 19, you cannot pass that up. That would be a steal. Take him. Devin Bush. I can't, I'm not going to, there's nothing else to say. Okay. Take him. All right. On the clock at number 20 is the Pittsburgh Steelers. A lot yes. of, uh, you know, turmoil going changes. on in, in <laughs> Pittsburgh with the drama with Antonio Brown, yeah. the drama with uh, Le'Veon Bell. Mm-hmm. Those two guys are gone. Pittsburgh Steelers, they're saying, hey, listen, just because we lost those two guys does not mean that we're going anywhere. we still got a whole lot of talent, yeah. and we're still looking to contend. So at 20, who do you got the Pittsburgh Steelers drafting? With the Steelers here, they could, like you said, they have inside linebacker, receiver, edge, corner, safety. But you know what? They just lost Antonio Brown. You know, I know they drafted James Washington, but he was he was kind of hit or miss last year. And I know they have Juju, but I still think they need another receiver. So you know what? Replace Antonio Brown with another Brown, with A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown. Or A.J. Brown, go with him. This kid, they say, is one of the most NFL readies. He looks like he is the like NFL Prototypical receiver out of Mississippi, SEC player. I think this guy would be great for the for the Steelers. Mm. I, I just it just makes sense. Replace Brown with Brown. I don't know. It just sounds too good. It flows off the tongue. Okay, so for me, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, I actually have them addressing their need at corner, ah. and I got them going DeAndre Baker out of Georgia. Georgia, right here at twenty. Okay. Address that secondary right yeah, here they, at 20. they do need to address the secondary. I, I, don't, I don't argue that. Now on the clock at number 21, mm-hmm. the Seattle Seahawks. Mm. I have them going Jeffrey Simmons. He fell all the way there? D-line right Holy here moly. for the Seahawks. Okay. Okay. Now, with the Seattle Seahawks, I have them dressing a major need, something that they lost pretty much two guys uh, this past year. Safety. Safety. So I got them going. Jonathan Abram. This oh. guy is everybody's been raving this about this guy. Out of Mississippi State. This guy is phenomenal. They just lost Earl Thomas. They lost um, Cam Chancellor to an injury, right? Neck injury that'll never he'll never be able to play again. So go out, get Jonathan Abram. He's the best safety in this draft, I believe. 
I think this will be a perfect fit and a good steal for them. Now on the clock at number 22 is the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens. Raven flock. Yeah. Okay, so for the Ravens, I actually going to, I'm going to have them going Clennon Farrell from Clemson D-line right here. Me too. Wait, you are? Yeah. I got no Farrell shit. going at 22. <laughs> they, they lost CJ Mosley, a good rusher. Uh, or a good linebacker, but they also lost a good pass rusher in uh, Smith, right? That Smith guy, he went to uh, Green Bay, right? So, fuck, was it Tredavious Smith, something like that? Probably. I can't remember his first name. It's it's something like that. But I think getting a good lineman right here, Cleo Farrell, makes sense, man. And he did a phenomenal in the national championship game that we streamed for, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Farrell. Yeah. So, all right, we're in agreement on that one. Yeah. On the clock at number 23 is the Houston Texans. Sean, the Houston Texans, they have a lot to look forward to in this upcoming yeah, season. But they do have a lot of needs, though. They, their number one need, in my opinion, is offensive line. Yes. And so for me, I'm going Greg Little out of okay. Mississippi State. Okay, I have him going O line too, but I have him going with a different player, Garrett Bradbury. Garrett Bradbury? Garrett, yeah. Garrett Bradbury. Because we saw Sean Watson <laughs> running for his life half the time this past year. Get him some protection, some time to sit, and be comfortable in the pocket. Okay. All right. The O-line, though. Yeah. O-line. For sure. We're both going on. Okay. All right. Now, on the clock here at number 24 <laughs> is the Oakland Raiders. Raiders. There's the second pick of the first round, by the way. Yes. Now, okay, in the first uh, in the first round, I mean, mm-hmm. with their other pick, uh, yeah. who did I have them going? I had them going Josh Allen. We both right? had them going Josh Allen, yeah. Now, what did we talk about? They said uh, that we said that they uh, they need to address their defense because their yes. defense absolutely sucked. Yep. So I'm still sticking here with defense, mm-hmm. and I'm going to go cornerback Rocky Asin from Temple. Okay. A corner, right? Yep. Okay, I can see that. But I actually still have them. I have them addressing another need. I know defense is their main thing. Now, they have three picks in the first round here. Yep. You know what? I was thinking about going defense right here, but I'm looking at the picks after this, right? And the teams that are coming up next, and I feel like they might go running back here. Josh Jacobs, good downhill runner, big back. I think would work good in Oakland. I think that's exactly what uh, Gruden really likes for his team. So John, uh, Josh Jacobs here, I think makes okay. sense. And address that running back need because we already know that Doug Martin and uh, Marshawn Lynch was not the answer last year. Okay. On the clock at number 25, we got the Philadelphia E-A-G-L-E-S Eagles. Sean, going kicker here? Yeah, punter, actually. Okay. I'll go punter. Okay. <laughs> Who you got? No, I actually got them going offensive line here. You know, you decided to go with Carson Wentz, and you traded Nick Foles, you said, or let him go, released him. So protect Carson Wentz, please. Get Dalton Risner. How you say? I think that's how you say his last name. I'm really fucked it up. But this guy out of Kansas State, he's a Big 12 uh, product. They usually pr- uh, produce some pretty good linemen. Go Dalton Risner here and get some protection for Carson Wentz. I, I absolutely, I mean, I wanted to do offensive linemen too. Yeah. But for me, I, I, I went pretty offensive uh, linemen heavy in my draft. Yes. In my did. mock draft. Yeah. So I didn't think there was anybody there that was worth taking here at number 25. Okay. So I had them addressing their linebacker mm-hmm. need, and I went Mac Wilson out okay. of Alabama. Okay, Mac Wilson. Gotcha. That is another need of them, though. So I right. wouldn't be against that. Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. You guys excited for this season? Yeah. Who do you guys got? I know that a lot They're of excited them. excited to lose. I know a lot of them want a running back. Yeah. Some of them even wanted Josh Jacobs, who you just had it going before. That's exactly why I put Josh Jacobs there, because I knew the Eagles might go running back, and I think the Raiders understand that, and the Raiders have a pick coming up again. Okay. On the clock at number 26 yes. is the Indianapolis Colts. I am excited. I am too. If I'm a Colts fan, because yeah. they're going to have a good season. Oh, yeah. Sean, who do you have them going at 26? I have them going, still addressing their defense, because that's their biggest weakness right now, right? Getting more defensive pressure, defensive line. And I have them going Dexter Lawrence out of Clemson. I like this kid. We saw him in the uh, national championship game. And him and uh, Farrell had a fucking phenomenal day. I think adding uh, adding Lawrence right there is just going to help that D-line even more. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go Marquise Brown, wide receiver for really? the Atlas Coast. Yeah, out of Oklahoma. Okay. I'm going Marquise Brown. This dude looks like a stud, man. He's one of the best wide receivers in this draft. They could use another weapon, mm-hmm. and I'm going to do it. I'm pulling the trigger with Marquise Brown. 
Okay, okay. I have them going to the Giants earlier. So okay, I can see that though. They do. They were. They uh, they did go out and get a couple receivers, but I think they could use another one. All right, now on the clock. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Ooh. I mean, we got the Oakland Raiders again. Again. <laughs> this is their third pick in the first yes. round, yeah. Sean. Who do you have? Now this is where my Cowboys would have drafted, right? Mm. So my Cowboys right here obviously would have definitely nailed this pick. Now Oakland. Right here, I had them going Josh Jacobs just a couple picks earlier. I said I addressed their defense on this one, and they will. And it's going to be Christian Wilkins, another Clemson boy. Clemson's just producing some defensive linemen right now. And Wilkins fits what they need. They need to address that D-line. Okay. Him and Josh Allen, now, fucking great. Now, with my previous two picks for the Oakland Raiders, I yeah. went defense. Now here I go offense. And I am going to have them selecting A.J. Brown, wide receiver <laughs> from Mississippi. So they're going to have two Browns. I don't know what Brown it is. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's get another Brown. weapon for Derek Carr. Brown and Brown connection. Brown and Brown. <laughs> let's do it, man. I love it. On the clock here at number 28. The Los Angeles Chargers. Ooh, yeah. This is a team we're both excited to see. Yeah. They might be a Super Bowl contender, man. I have them going offensive line. Garrett Bradbury from okay. NC State. Who you got? I actually have them addressing another need of theirs, which is something they lost in the offseason, Jason Verrett. Now, Verrett's always been injury prone for them, so it's always kind of screwed them over. I have them going DeAndre Baker, who you had going a little bit earlier. DeAndre Baker, I think it fits their need at corner. He's out of Georgia, so he played in the SEC. Great conference. I love it. Go DeAndre Baker right here and address that Jason Brett need. Okay, now on the clock here at number 29 is the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. At 29, I have them going safety. Jonathan Abram from okay. Mississippi State. They could Damn. definitely use the safety. That's a steal. And they're getting him right here Ugh. at 29. That is that, a steal. That's a steal, man. With me... For me, for the Chiefs, they lost two defensive line ends right here. They lost D. Ford, and they lost Houston. So you know what? I have them addressing that need. Brian Burns, he's an edge rusher okay. out of Florida State. Bring him in, address that. You lost two people out of that possession. That's a major need now. Address it right here. All right. Now on the clock is the Green Bay Packers Packers. with their second pick. Sean, just the pick before, you had Brian Burns, the edge for Florida State, going to Kansas City. I actually have Brian Burns going to the Packers right here Ah. at 30. Okay. Okay. So pretty much a pick after. I don't mind that. With me, though, Green Bay, I have them going offensive line here. Okay. Okay. They address the receiver need. Now address protecting Aaron Rodgers. You got to keep him healthy, man. So I have him going Greg Little, offensive lineman here. Greg Little? Yeah. Yeah, they could use an offensive line right here. I I wouldn't hate that if I was a Green Bay Packer. Now on the clock here at number 31 is the Los Angeles Rams. Rams. Man, they were just so close. They completely botched in the Super Bowl, though. Completely. But hey, man, they're looking (laughs) to come back. Bounce back. They're looking to come back and go to the Super Bowl once mm-hmm. again, and this time get the job done. Please, Rams please. at thirty-one. Yeah, Sean, I am gonna go Dexter Lawrence out of Clemson D okay. line. Okay, that's a if they if he falls all the way down in there, that's a steal. Yeah, Dexter Lawrence is a phenomenal player. Me, I do have him going D line. Dexter Lawrence is already off the board for me, so I have him going Jeffrey Tillery. Tillery. Yes, I have him going Jeffrey Tillery. They lost Namka Sue. We saw how great of a tandem Sue was with Aaron Donald. Get him another uh, player right there to help him out. I think it'll be a phenomenal fit. Now, to end the first round on the clock is the New England Patriots, mm. the Super Bowl champions, the yeah, defending yeah. champions. Yeah, yeah. Sean, I have them going defensive line, and I'm going Christian Wilkins out of Clemson. Okay, Wilkins out of Clemson. I had him going actually to the Raiders not too long ago, so... Definitely a good player. Now, Patriots was something I was actually about to pick a receiver here for them because they lost Chris Hogan. They lost Cordell Patterson. But you know what? Another big thing that they lost was Rob Gronkowski. I still have a great tight end on the board right now and Noah Font. Oh, man. Him falling to the New England Patriots. If he's there, they'll take him. Noah Font to the New England Patriots. They'll take him. At 32. Completely makes sense. If he falls all the way down to there, because after he gets past all the teams that we said that need a tight end, not all the other teams need a lot of tight ends. So or we'll even try to fall. address it, yeah. So I think Noah Font right here, if he falls, be a perfect fit. 
All right, and that wraps up our first round mock draft, guys. Yeah. Of course, that's just our opinion. But if you think you can do better, then you yeah. better head your ass yeah. over to NFL.com and you better join our group and mm -hmm. predict the pick. Yes. The group name is Fur Sports Fury Mock. All one word. Sports Fury Mock. Go join it and go against us on draft day. Yes. And if you win, you have the most points, you're going to... Get a jersey of your choice. So whoever you want. Don't make it like a, a classic signed autograph jersey. And <laughs> if for some reason one of you guys wins and it's not me and you want to buy a Bears jersey and donate it back to me, that's fine too. No, no, no. They're going to get a Cowboys jersey because they're so much nicer. <laughs> but all right, that, guys. We, we should do that. Yeah. If we win it, one of us wins it, they all have to pay for it. <laughs> But, guys, that's our mock draft. Yes. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. And don't forget, don't forget to come hang out with us live yeah. on the NFL draft. That's where it all started for us for the NFL yes, streams. Was. Yes, it was. And all streams. April yeah. 25th, Thursday, April 25th. Come hang out with us, guys. It'll be our third year in a row going oh, live. Shit. Don't want to miss it. Come hang out. Yeah. It's going to be a blast. And we'll see you guys then. And good luck to everyone's teams, except for the Packers, the Vikings, and the Lions. And the NFC East. I hate all y'all. Bye-bye!